President Obama said over and over during the campaign that cameras would be allowed to cover the health care negotiations. Remember? He lied. No cameras permitted at the secret talks to reconcile the Senate and House versions of health care reform. And for good reason. The White House and congressional Democrats have cut a deal with union leaders to limit the reach of attacks on high-end health insurance plans. Health plans covered by union contracts will be exempt from the 40% tax until 2018. $60 billion worth of exempt. Taxing so-called Cadillac plans was supposed to be one way to pay for this massive health care overhaul. But under this deal, taxes will only raise $90 billion instead of the expected $150 billion over 10 years. Union leaders were at the negotiating table with House and Senate leaders and administration officials for three days, while, of course, the cameras were kept out. President Obama and the Democrats, they're digging their graves here with what critics are calling a sweetheart deal. This is just naked politics, Chicago style. Union leaders had warned earlier that Democrats could lose their support if the final health care bill included a tax on Cadillac plans. So the leadership paid them off to the tune of $60 billion, which, of course, the public will have to reimburse us for. All done out of sight of the news media and out of sight of the public, those taxpayers. Meanwhile, the fate of health care reform could well depend on the outcome of that special election to replace Senator Edward Kennedy in Massachusetts. A lot of people feel that health care reform could be dead if the Democrats lose that Senate seat today because that would take away their supermajority of 60 votes. Here's the question. Are you surprised unions were invited into secret health care negotiations? Go to CNN.com slash Cafferty file, post a comment on my blog. If you open the window, you can smell it all the way from Washington.